Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will cover how to use the controlled stop limit when using an electroforce test system. The controlled stop action is a feature that can be used to properly stop a test when a given sample fails. Click on the test limits button. You want to be sure to set an accurate displacement and load limit value for the test you plan to run. For this example, we will be running a ramp to failure test on a three point bend fixture so we can assume the displacement will jump in the negative direction upon sample failure. We want to set our displacement limit to just slightly below the expected failure value. Under the Actions tab for these two values, be sure to select Controlled Stop. Next, click on the Waveform Setup button, then click on the Waveform Actions button at the bottom left corner. This will bring forward a new window with options for further test customization. The Controlled Stop tab will allow you to specify the Controlled Stop position. This parameter is always determined in volts as the controlled stop action operates under the open loop direct command control mode. We can see that at 0.5 volts, our displacement value is around 1.2 millimeters, which is enough to lift off the sample upon failure. Now that we've set the controlled stop position and set the load and displacement limits, we can run the test. During the test in the scope window, we will notice a large jump in displacement as the sample fails. Controlled stop will bring the actuator off the sample and enter it into the safe open loop control mode. Now you can remove your sample and put in a new one. In this TA Tech Tip, we demonstrated how to use the controlled stop limit when using an electroforce test system. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.